Okay, as I said, I was going to be doing a six month reading. This is July 13th of 2023, exactly six months. We had a lot of people that sent me questions. We have three pages of them, and we're going to try to get through them as fast as we can. I'm not dressed in my tradition or my usual clothing, I am dressed traditionally tonight. So, we will get started with which way is yes? Which way is no? Which way is maybe? Which way is maybe? Okay. Which is which way is I don't know or ask again. Thank you. I apologize in advance for the flickering of the candles and the auto focusing on my camera. So, first question was Did Julian and his wife get into a fight the night before he went hiking? And the answer is yes. Thank you. Did he still go hiking on January 13th to Mount Baldy? And the answer is yes. Okay, someone wanted to know, did he take the Falls Trail No. Did he take the main trail? Yes. Did Julian take his hiking pack with all of his emergency supplies, his axes, his clampons, his spikes, and his helmet? And the answer to that question is yes. Another person wanted to know, did whiteout conditions happen as Julian reached the summit? Yes. Did an avalanche follow? No. So there was no avalanche. Were people telling the truth when they said they saw him and he wasn't dressed properly? No, they were not telling the truth. Was Julian dressed correctly for that hike? Yes. Another one had heard this from a friend, so we will ask. Was the hike that Julian took on the 13th of January supposed to be a three-day hike? Yes. Was he planning to spend those three days on Mount Baldy. Yes. Do you still stand by your answer that he was rescued on February 4th 
2023. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to use the big boy as soon as I find where he went to. Can you say hi t to Diana? Okay. Which way is yes? Which way is no? Which way is maybe? Thank you. And which way is, I don't know. Thank you. Okay. People want to know, were any searches conducted after February 4th? 2023 No Okay on June 17th they said they did a search I'm in another neighborhood ain't got my chain to I got this big dog call me I apologize for that rudeness. Okay. On June 17th, they said that they did a search which had 80 people, two helicopters, and drones. Was that search conducted? Yes. So they were telling the truth about that search. Yes. Thank you. Do you still stand by the readings from June 23rd of 2023? Yes. On June 24th, which was sat on a Saturday, hikers found who they claim to be Julian Sands remains 10 miles southwest of where he went missing. Is that true? No. Did they tell the truth about the ID with the remains that they found? No.
The sheriff slash coroner said he made a positive ID the night of June 24th. Is that true? No. Do those remains belong to Julian Sands? No. Do the remains belong to someone else? Yes. Are they going to stick with the story that they belong to Julian Sands? Yes. Another person asked, a few days later after that, there was a bear attack on Mount Baldy. Was that true? Yes. Was the bear or the victim ever found? No. Thank you. There is now a pending status on Julian Sand's report. Will it stay that way? Yes. Do you know for how many months? He doesn't know. Will they actually tell the truth if they are wrong? No. Is the actor, 65-year-old Julian Sands, still alive? Yes. And do you stand by your answers to all of these questions? Yes. Do you stand by all of the answers to these questions? Yes. So, nothing has changed in six months. So, still the same identical answers. Even about the bear attack, which we threw in there to see if we could throw them off. Yes, there was a bear attack. No, they did not find the victim, nor the bear, and they called it quits. I'm sorry. I feel bad for the family. So, with that said, now about the status. The status has changed. I don't know if they are going to say anything. 
but when we get a status change to pending, that usually meant that they were wrong or they had made a mistake. It's going to take, they said, another six months probably before they get an actual answer, which coincides with one of our oracles that also said the same thing, that she said, we probably won't have any answers for at least six months from the day that they found the remains. We know that all the photos are clickbait photos. We know that the news only changes the date or the days. We've had no official statement from anyone, not even the sheriff slash coroner. As I said in one of my little short videos, that's a lot of territory, 22,000 square miles, for a small group to handle. If you can't handle it and do your job, you need to hire more people. That's the logical thing to do. We have people out there, and I won't mention any names, that are shaming people who still have hope, which is not right. It is mean and it is cruel to do that to them. Two people in my group are mentally devastated because of some of these remarks. We do not know if those were his remains. We may never know if those were his remains. We do know that he did have the proper gear, his axes, his spikes and clamp-ons, his helmet, the proper clothing, his backpack or his hiker's pack, which has never been found, which is really strange. The remains were found 10 miles southwest on flat territory from the pictures that we have seen. We have seen and we have dug to find the proper paperwork. You saw the answers tonight. They have not faltered. They have been consistent. I have used every pendulum in my possession and I've gotten the same answers from each and every one of them. So, all we can do is wait. Let's not make assumptions that the rest of us are ignorant because we don't want to face the fact that he is deceased when in actuality we don't know. Would you say that it might be another six months before we actually know the truth? Yes. Will someone from the authorities or someone from the family make that statement? No. Is the sheriff also the coroner? Yes. Did Julian Sands happen to run into the Chinese hiker and Bob while he was there? Yes. 
we know Bob was found dead. Is that correct? We know that the elderly Chinese man was found alive. Is that correct? Is it true that there are many, many remains on Mount Baldy that have never been claimed? Yes. Would you say more than 500? Have some of these remains been there for the past 45 to 50 years? Yes. Would you say that we need to keep the faith going to help Julian Sands? Yes. Do you yourself believe that the remains they found were those of the actor Julian Sands. Would you like people to know who and what you are? Very well. So, there you have it. Same answers. 13 different pendulums. The reason I chose this date was because it was six months to the day, but also when you add the numbers together, they total three. Three is a magical number in many religions and in many faiths. For Christians, it's the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. For others, it is different. I'm not going to argue with somebody over something that is ridiculous. If you want to believe that he's dead, that's fine. That's your decision. But don't force it on other people. Do not belittle those people. And if you are watching my videos, you know who I am talking about. You have hurt a lot of people. And that was wrong on so many levels. But as they say, all good things come to an end. So, I found this in a book that I was reading, which most people like me will know what it means. And it reads, as above, so below, as within, so without. As the universe, 
so the soul what happens in the material world also happens in the spiritual world. So, I hope that all of you understand that. It's sort of like the saying, what goes around comes around. To the people I love the most, the ones that who have been working so hard, I love you. Those are the people who have sent the power tonight to help do this reading. They're the ones who are holding their breath, lighting their candles. Some are mirror gazing. I have baby witches and fledglings that I have to look after. And it's a shame that they have been belittled by certain people or certain groups. So I'm hoping that this reading will now clarify. His case had been brought. It had said positive ID. It was done on the night they found the remains. Now that status has been changed to pending. We still need to find the backpack. Where is it? We need to know how he got 12 miles southwest of where he went to. Do not believe the photos that you see or anything else because it's wrong. I hope the family from the Arizona hiker who fell to his death sues the people who used their child's photo. It was the wrong thing to do. The hikers, which I said there were five different groups. So we do not know that. I will ask one last question. Where were there five different hiking groups? Yes. Did one of those groups find the remains. No. So, you tell me, five groups, one of them was supposed to have found the remains, one of them was supposed to have found the wallet, the IDs, it confirms five groups. It also denies that any one of those groups found the remains. I don't know what to tell you. These things pull their answers and their energy from the universe, not from me. Big difference than reading a tarot card. Especially if you don't know how to read the tarot card. So, I hope this makes sense to a lot of you. I'm going to ask both of them at the same time.
is Julian Sands still alive? And both pendulums are saying yes. So I'm going to end this. I will keep you posted if we get any different news. I will let you know if the status changes again. I will let you know if any announcements have been made. If they're accurate with the DNA, the tox screens, hair samples, or whatever it is that they're using, I promise you, I will let you know, and you will know the truth. But until then, I don't know what to tell you. 12 pendulum readings, all 12 with the same answer. They don't change, they don't lie. With that, good night.